Burnt toast. Burnt toast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Lowe's Cow Entertainment News. Tonight, we have Shani for Christ with us again once more, this time to discuss how she feels like the entire internet is sexually harassing her. Please welcome Shani for Christ. So how are you today, Shani for Christ? Yo, so I don't know why like dumbass drag is going around and like saying I'm like, I've had orgies before and shit, but um, I hate to burst your bubble, but I've never had an orgy. Now I will say I've had threesomes before, but an orgy and a threesome are totally different things. Um, let's go back to that later. You know, I I wouldn't be down on the orgy. Man, there's too much anal that goes around in orgies. Nope. No, seriously. You can stop now. Or nah, man. I'm not down with the anal shit. Well, that didn't age well. Because you kind of did porn where you also did that. He is. But you're okay, you're okay with me, though. Uh, okay, that's enough. Well, I'm just giving you, like, you know, experiences that you never have. Okay. Otherwise. Alright. So, anyway. Fair enough. Okay. Let's get back on track. You say that you've been sexually harassed. Please, tell the audience what has been going on. Like, ew, this is how fucking gross this dude is. And how sexually harassing he is. He's literally watching our porno that we he didn't even pay for. He's doing this illegally. Well, actually, Shani, your boyfriend did a stream a while back advertising how he was going to put everything on Pornhub. So those are the new platforms, folks. You could go to Chat Your Bait. She's got a Chat Your Bait now. And also, she has a Pornhub. And that everybody should go over there and watch her videos in addition to OnlyFans. Besides, didn't you just say this? But you know what? I find it flattering you guys fantasizing about me. It's hard not to. I find it flattering you guys fantasizing about me. It's hard not to. This is actually illegal. It's called revenge porn. Um, that's not revenge porn, Shani. It's highly illegal. He could go into prison for this shit. But anyway. <laughs> He's watching porno with his brother. Ugh. That's like borderline incest. That is so gross. Is that the new norm now? You guys watch pornography with your family members? Revenge porn? Incest? Oh, oh Shani. I know exactly what I'm going to get you for Christmas this year. A dictionary. You can say I'm the worst Christian ever, but I've never watched pornography with my family members. I never would. <laughs> You're so hilarious, Shani. Here you are throwing stones at Drag and his two grown brothers and what they decide to listen to or not listen to. And yet you actually made porn with your boyfriend with your two kids in the next room. Classy. That's so nasty. That's so gross. Ugh. 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 It just, it makes you wonder what else he does behind the doors, behind the scene. You know what I mean? Oh, you mean like the time just recently where on your OnlyFans account you propositioned drag? What about the video that you also sent showing your naked body and having your boyfriend hold up your fupa to show drag your snatch? 
Or how about the time where you offered to pay for Drag and his wife to come to Colorado so you guys could have some, shall we say, special time together? We want to go and we want to go and pay for you and your wife to have a vacation up here. So how about it? You and your wife come up here, and we will be spending the whole weekend at the Stanley Hotel where the shining was taken. How about that? Would that would that be fun for you and your wife? That's right. And I'm would you like me, that? Put me on camera. Come on. Oh, oh, here. Put me on camera. See, I I am I am Shannon's manager, so I can tell you for a fact that she does an amazing show. And there's not. I'm not going to discuss exactly what that is, Drag. That's going to be a surprise. But uh, yeah, Gary Moore would love to see that shit, but he's not going to get to see that shit, man. This is Hollywood shit. So you got to come out to Colorado, and we're going to remake The Shining, man. That's it. All right. So how about that? You and your wife come out here. You know how to get a hold of me, Drag. We'll be chilling out at the Stanley Hotel. Wow, that's so awesome that Colorado, Japan also has a Stanley Hotel. <laughs> wow, we just learned so much on this show, don't we, folks? We'll be right back after these messages. My pussy is so, 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 so clean. My pussy is so, 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 so clean. And welcome back to the show, folks. Okay, Shani, now, what happened next? Now, irate Alex is sexually harassing me. <laughs> like, okay, so he's showing Drag's video of sexually harassing me, and what? It, does it, does it, does it make, does it, does... I know, words are so hard. Do, do, does anyone fucking care that those fucking tapes are my fucking property? Huh. And they stole them from me? And they stole from OnlyFans. Aw, oh, Rev, how you doing, buddy? Did you get that whole Eastern European teeth situation thing happening? Did, did you get that figured out? Because I think it's called a toothbrush. I know. <laughs> does, does, does that just say anything to you that they were not welcome to have my fucking property? No. And now Ira Alex is sexually degrading me and his whole audience is sexually degrading me. So all of you guys are responsible for sexual harassment. You try to make people seem like they're really bad people and you're all responsible for sexual harassment. And you're all fucking degrading me. Okay, Shani. Now let's go over a brief synopsis of what happened. You made porn with your boyfriend and made an OnlyFans account. Nobody wanted to watch it, so you lowered the price. Then you lowered the price again because still... Nobody wanted to watch it. Then Rev and you decided to put it on Chatterbait and Pornhub for free. So now the entire internet would be able to watch it without having to go through OnlyFans and without having to pay money. You brag about it, advertise it, and attack other people saying that you look better than they do. Then you lied and claimed that Drag had showed the porn video to underage boys. Then you claimed that Drag and his brothers were going to come to Colorado and murder and rape you. Cause, oh no, it's the evil black guys. Ah. YouTube, help me. Black people are watching my porn. Then you backpedaled and lied about what you originally lied about. Which brings us to today, where you accuse not only them, but all of us, everyone, the entire internet, of sexually harassing you. Oh, Shani, that's not sexual harassment. That's you regretting your life choices. <laughs> like, you're retarded. There's something really mentally wrong with you. Spoken like a true G-Man cult member. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs>
Should I get sponsored by Coke, maybe? For the inconveniences of the internet and entertaining people for YouTube, could I get a sponsorship from Coke? I mean, I think you have nice cans. I think the flavor of Coke Zero is very good. Uh, it almost feels like drinking a pop. Like a sugar soda. And these are extremely good. When you chill them. So if I could get a sponsorship from, you know, just for the taste of it. Coke Zero. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate this. It's a very good soda, and I like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Shani. Is there any last word that you would like to have before we end the show? <sighs> Ladies, I want you to be aware of these men that are are uh, supporting sexual harassment and seg sexual de degradation of people i just want you to know there's a massive amount of people supporting this in the youtube community and i want you to be aware who all these people are and um stay safe away from them don't try to befriend these people don't be around them because you're gonna be in harm's way this is the world we live in now ladies it's a very dangerous world for us and um we gotta defend ourselves what a fantastic idea, Shani. I will make sure that everyone stays far away from you. And if anybody asks me, I'll tell them all about this. And I'll tell them about this. And this. And of course, this. Callie, she's freaking single. Dragnaut, he's gonna be single. Uh, gonna be you know? Because uh, I'm gonna fuck his bitch. Damn. And oh, she loves me. She just knows drags the problem. So anyway, she she knows it. Finally, something that we can agree on: you're a sexual pervert, and you should be stayed away from. Wow, I'm so glad we had this talk. Because no one else will defend us. Because it's obvious that men support sexual harassment they support the degradation of women and um yeah that's why i never want to have anything to do with another male uh ew just ew yeah, well, it's a good thing you don't have two sons and a boyfriend. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, folks, that's all we have time for today. I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor for this episode. It is the number one bestseller. It's not the size that matters. Embracing life with a micro penis. So if everyone looks under their chairs, you get a book and you get a book and you get a book. Take it home with you, read it, and share it with the Rev in your life today. Well, that's all the time we have today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Lolzy content. Until next time, Internet, stay toasty, my friends. See you in the next one. You sexy bitch. You want me to lick that little piss you have yours? Oh, God, Shani, can you just stop doing that? Hey, you want some lit action? Mm -hmm. Daddy can give it to you. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm done. I'm girl. leaving.